in this video i'll be showing you how to properly insert the memory card into your amazon fire tablet this would also work for your phones you know your gadgets maybe you need an extra space the space on the mem on the tablet or your phone is running out and you would like to use a memory card to expand the memory then this video is for you this is amazon fire 7 kids edition and this is the pouch of course for you to access where the memory card slot is you need to remove it from the pouch and in case you don't know this pouch is detachable <laughs> some people don't actually know some people actually ask me yes this pouch is detachable so this is the side where the memory card slot is here is the memory card this is a new memory card insert it in and use your finger to push it in use your fingertips yes it's in when you have correctly inserted the memory card into the tablet or your phone you get this message how will you use this sd card use for extra store extra tablet storage or use for portable storage when you choose to use as extra tablet storage that means it, you have added it to the internal storage of your tablet for apps files and media on this tablet only you should note that that means you might not be able to use that memory card on another gadget or phone it will just it, it, will, it, it will format like the internal storage of the tablet so when the internal storage of your tablet has been expanded but when you use as portable storage for transferring files and media between devices that means um you can use on this device and then remove that memory card and use it on another device that is actually what i would recommend i have an, a memory card i've used for years i can still use that memory card now you know because i always use as portable storage and not as um extra phone storage or extra tablet storage the reason for this is because something might happen to your tablet or phone or whatever and you you might need to you know maybe erase the content of the entire tab you might need to reset the tablet that means when you use as extra tablet storage you would lose all the content on the tablet and on the memory card because you have expanded the memory with the memory card so it's seeing it as also the internal storage but when you use as portable storage and you need to do maybe something happens to the tab or phone and you need to reset it then you would only lose the contents on the tab itself and not the contents on the memory card so that is the reason why i would recommend that you always go for use as portable storage instead of use as extra tablet storage thank you very much okay so we'll go ahead now and then use as portable storage your sd card is ready to use done so here it takes us to this point you can some features already highlighted download films and tv programs to your sd card directly i would recommend that store photos and personal videos on your sd card i would recommend that to download audio books to your sd card yes download apps and periodicals to your sd card yes so that you know the maybe it's just your apps that would be on the internal storage of the tab then format as internal. you can also go ahead and format as internal storage so when i click on this let's try it format as internal storage after formatting you can use this sd card to store anything including apps and media formatting as internal storage will prevent the sd card from working with other devices can you see that all data on this sd card will be erased consider moving photos and other media to alternate storage or transferring them to a computer using a usb cable so if you would like to format as internal storage and you don't want to lose all the data already on the memory card it's telling us that you know just transfer everything first to maybe a computer or, or another storage before you go ahead and format can you say cancel or format and erase no i am not ready to erase anything so <laughs> we are going back and then erase sd card in case you want to erase all the data on your sd card so you can go ahead and then if you want to remove safely remove sd card this is highly recommended so just you just don't go ahead and remove you should remove safely here for instance just like you want to eject a a flash from your from your computer this is how you should go about it to so remove safely here eject it first from the tab before removing it thank you so very much i hope this was helpful see you in our next video